In this video, we will be covering the installation of our Fiber Tap Plus. Our fiber has already been prepped with the removal of our fiber jacketing, the installation of our factory terminated pigtails, and our central strength members being cut two inches from the fiber jacketing. Insert the included fiber management clip into the slot on the middle of the base. Insert each connector one at a time through the open slot in the base of the Fiber Tap Plus. Be sure to follow the fiber bend radius as it may cause the fiber to kink and or break. Once each connector is inserted, insert the CSM and fiber jacketing through the entry. While inserting the fiber jacketing simultaneously, slide the CSM under the CSM clamp. Attach the CSM clamp to the base of the FiberTap Plus using the supplied hardware. Be sure to install the clamp on the entry port side of the base. If you have a base with two entry ports, then install both accordingly. Do not tighten the CSM clamp all the way down, but just loose enough to slide the CSM under the clamp. Adjust the CSM under the CSM clamp so that the jacket is barely exposed and the two inches of CSM doesn't stick too far out of the clamp. Once at the correct location, tighten the screw of the CSM clamp to secure into place. Make sure the fiber goes over top of the CSM and is not pinched under the CSM clamp. Once inserted, place a supplied zip tie in the opening and secure the fiber buffer tubes together. Do not tighten the zip tie to maximum. This will cause damage to the fiber. Leave at least an inch diameter in the zip tie, then cut the remaining tail. Apply two beads of silicone along the front edge of the fiber inlet. Insert the silicone lines grommet into the fiber input. Some of the silicone should come out around the fiber. Depending on your product, whether that's flat drop or round cable application, install the appropriate grommet into the FTP base. Make sure the grommet is flush with the open end of the entry port, as shown. Apply sealant to the inside of the grommet. Failure to do so will result in a failed and incomplete seal. Using the supplied sealant packet, apply a small amount around the perimeter of the base entry and the internal grommet. Also apply enough sealant for a thin layer on the separate grommet. We also recommend to apply a thin layer to the fiber jacketing itself to establish a complete seal. After applying sealant to the grommet, place over the port entry in the orientation using the supplied hardware. Tighten each screw with 4 pounds per inch of torque maximum to where they are flush with the plastic. Do not over tighten. To ensure a proper seal, tighten each screw in an alternating pattern as shown. With the input cover installed, make sure the entry lines up with the base. This helps to hold the fiber in place and keep a consistent and complete seal around the fiber jacketing. Make sure to not over tighten. Start removing the installed adapter covers one at a time to prevent dust from getting into the adapter without a connector in it. Do not remove all the adapter covers at once. After removing the adapter cover, remove the dust cap from the connector and plug the connector into the internal adapter following the color fiber chart to that on the FiberTap Plus cover. Repeat this process the appropriate number of times till all fiber connections are installed. Apply a layer of sealant to the groove installed into the FiberTap Plus base. Ensure the entire groove is coated before proceeding and align onto the base. At any time of re-entry to the FiberTap Plus, ensure the groove is coated with sealant for a proper seal. Place the FiberTap Plus cover of the base in the orientation shown and ensure that the cover is seated correctly on the base before flipping the enclosure over safely. To ensure a proper seal, tighten each screw in an alternating pattern. Using the supplied hardware, attach the base to the cover in the six available locations. Tighten each screw with 15 pounds per inch of torque, maximum, to where they are flush with the plastic. Once final installation is completed, visually inspect the FiberTap Plus. 
This includes, but is not limited to, the grommet being sealed and tightened correctly, each fiber adapter installed correctly and tightened, and the cover seated evenly on the base. For more installation videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, but if you want the guides in PDF form, visit our website at www.gomultilink.com.